Kurt Nickel now up into fourth spot. Oh, what a nasty bang there for number 50. That's Mervyn Anstey on the KTM. He runs back to pick up his bike. Great encouragement from the crowd, but not really the place to stop to try and kickstart your bike back into action. Thorpe leading. Gabor still giving chase. If anything, he's beginning to close the gap towards the end of this first leg. Van der Ven still holding on to third place. Nickel fourth. Now going very well in the sand on the Kawasaki. This is the last lap and Thorpe and Gabor's absolutely side by side as the jumpers they come to get the checkered flag. And Gabor gets it sideways and Thorpe wins. Gabor's in second place. What a marvellous finish to the race. And Gabor's side by side with Thorpe on that last jump, but a bad landing by him. In fact, he's got a flat tyre when he comes into the paddock, ruins his chances of winning. Will the second leg be as exciting? They stream away from the gate. Bad start there by Jackie Vimon. Both Thorpe and Gabor's well placed at the start. Also Kurt Nickel. Oh, and it's Hacken Carlquist left at the gate. The former 250cc and 500cc champion out of the race with a seized engine. But it's number six in the lead. That's Leif Pearson on the Honda from Sweden. And Mervyn Anstey in the wars again. And he gets a fair old crack on the sides of the head as he tries to pick up his machine. But Anstey continues. But now back in the lead in this second leg. Thorpe leads number five. Will Gabor's giving such a hard time the second time round? I somehow doubt it. Gabor's in second place. Number 49, Mark Banks, on his way to 12th place. But back in the lead, to the cheers of the crowd, Thorpe's in front. On his way to a marvellous double in front of his home crowd, Gabor's still in second place. In third place, Keith van der Ven. And up into fourth place, Pekka Vekkanen. And in fifth spot, Kurt Nickel. But this is the style and determination of the man in form and the man currently leading the World Championship, 26-year-old Dave Thorpe. Van der Ven always at home in the sand. And there's plenty of that at Hawkstone Park. Dirk Gherkins doing battle there with number 30, but the battle over for Billy Leals. So he comes a mighty cropper as the pack streams through. It seems in all sorts of problems. Leals happily recovers. The Union Jack's being readied now. Could surely be for only one man. The man now coming into sight. Number five, Day Thorpe. Thorpe gives a wave to the crowd. A marvellous winning double for the rider who so wants that World Championship crown back in Britain. Celebration time then. Thorpe with a rare smile after a tremendous victory. Gabor's on his left in second place. And in third place, Kies van der Ven. Thorpe's a happy man leading the championship by nine points. Dave, you looked a very, very happy man coming over that line at the end. Yeah, I was thrilled a bit. So I really wanted to be able to win the English GP and uh, I was really, really happy. You've extended your lead as well. Yeah, you know, that's obviously a bonus, really. Um, there's still a long way to go, though. I don't think it's over by any means. Um, as Eric showed today, there's still a lot of fight left in him, so it's going to be a close run thing, I think. Just take us through the, the races. The first one was really tight, wasn't it? Yeah, the first one, um, I felt that Eric dropped back on purpose to, to see where I was riding and work it all out. And then he dropped quite a way back, and uh, I still felt that he would come strong at the end, which he did. And basically, the race could have gone any either way at the okay. end. Um, it was just that... Uh, um, I managed to keep it on a little bit longer than Eric, really. Second race, there was quite a few riders in front of us at the beginning, so we had to work our way through. Um, my dad kept telling me to try and push on, um, to push, to stretch Eric, to make him try harder. And fortunately, he made a mistake um, because he was trying so hard. And then um, he got back on and he began to close dramatically again. But I just decided to maintain the speed I had because it would have been very easy to go over the top and, and make a mistake myself. Unfortunately, he went down again. So then the race was in the back. Has this given you the confidence for the, the rest of the GPs to the end of the season? Yeah, it's definitely boosted my confidence no end, yes.